Hi everyone, this is the 123rd video of the ACT math practice problem series and here we have a nice problem from the concept of function, domain and range. As I always recommend, before seeing the solution, you can pause the video and give it a try yourself and after that of course you want to match with my solution. So let's get started. Here the question says, if f of x is equal to square root of 1 minus x, then which of the following is the domain of f of x? Now for this kind of questions, we have to assume that it's a real function. So we have to focus on the real values of x, right? Now if the function has to be a real function, then whatever is inside the square root that has to be non-negative because if the quantity inside the square root is negative, then the function value will be imaginary and we don't want that. We are talking about real valued function. So then for f of x to be a real valued function, whatever is inside the square root that has to be non-negative. That means that has to be greater than or equal to zero. So then from here we can say, well, definitely one minus x that has to be greater than or equal to zero. And from here we can say, well, well, then x must be less than or equal to 1 and in that case what would be that range if it has to be less than or equal to 1 then x should belong to the range of real numbers that will look like this using the interval notation we can say well it would be less than 1 so 1 would be on the right hand side and 1 is included so we can use the bracket there and then on the left hand side it will be negative infinity and that is our answer if you look at our answer options we have this range of values for x under option e so option e would be the correct option i hope it made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video